vitamin K2, vitamin D3, iodine, zinc, boron, magnesium, and omega-3 deficiency. Today, I'm discussing the latest research on vitamin K2 in combination with vitamin D and magnesium. These breakthrough findings are incredibly important as they highlight the significance of maintaining proper levels of these nutrients. Let's dive right in. Benefits of vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 is often unfamiliar to most people, including myself. During the medical trainings, we only covered the basics of this vitamin. Traditionally, we were taught that calcium is essential for bone health, so it made sense to consume calcium, rich foods, right? However, recent studies are challenging this notion by suggesting that calcium supplementation may not be as beneficial as previously believed. In fact, many calcium supplements on the market today may not provide the desired health benefits, making them a potential waste of money. So, what do these studies reveal? Well, it turns out that vitamin D helps transport calcium into the bloodstream, while vitamin K2 ensures that it reaches the bones. Vitamin K2 also plays a crucial role in strengthening muscles, regulating blood sugar levels, and preventing the accumulation of calcium in the walls of blood vessels, which can lead to thickening and hardening. And let's not forget about the role of magnesium, which complements these nutrients. In summary, the combination of vitamin D, vitamin 2, and magnesium offers a host of health benefits. Deficiency in vitamin D3. The primary factor in maintaining healthy levels of vitamin D3 is a well-balanced diet. Adequate exposure to sunlight and proper nutrition are key components in this regard. Exercise, particularly strength training and cardiovascular activities, also contribute to maintaining strong bones. Vitamin D supplements can be useful, especially when combined with magnesium and omega-3 fatty acids. Additionally, vitamin D absorption is enhanced by the presence of vitamin K2, iodine, zinc, and boron. While vitamin II deserves more attention, it's disheartening to see calcium taking a back seat. Calcium significance cannot be underestimated. Stick around until the end, and I'll provide comprehensive information about both vitamin K1 and K2, helping you determine whether supplementation is right for you. Understanding vitamin K1 EK2 Vitamins are classified into two groups, fat, soluble vitamins, A, E, E, N, K, and K, and water-soluble vitamins, B, complex, and C. Calcium and magnesium are single-element minerals that serve as essential building blocks for bone formation and support various enzymatic and protein functions in the body. Vitamin K was first discovered in 1929 in a German journal. The K in vitamin K stands for coagulation in German, which refers to blood clotting. It's important to note that vitamin K should not be confused with potassium, denoted by the elemental symbol key vitamin K, being a fat-soluble vitamin, is distinct from potassium. Moreover, there are three types of vitamin K, K1, philoquinone, P2, minaquinone, and K3, minadione, and K3, minadione. Although their chemical structures are similar, they perform different functions. Vitamin K1 primarily influences blood clotting, while vitamin K2 plays a more significant role in the benefits we're discussing in this video. Therefore, when I refer to vitamin K, I am predominantly focusing on vitamin K2 unless stated otherwise. Despite the abundance of vitamin K1 in our diet, we require more attention on vitamin K2 for optimal health. Top Vitamin K Foods Vitamin K1 is essential for blood clotting, preventing excessive bleeding, However, it does not offer the same benefits for bone and muscle health. We also saw a significant decrease in non-vertebral fractures by 77% and hip fractures by 81%. These are remarkable results that highlight the importance of vitamin K2 in maintaining bone health and preventing osteoporosis-related fractures. Furthermore, vitamin K2 has shown promising effects on heart health. As mentioned earlier, it helps prevent the buildup of calcium in the blood vessels, reducing the risk of atherosclerosis and promoting cardiovascular health. Studies have indicated that individuals who supplement with vitamin K2 have a lower incidence of calcification in their arteries, which is a major risk factor for heart disease. Additionally, vitamin K2 has been linked to improved insulin sensitivity and lower blood sugar levels. It plays a role in regulating glucose metabolism contributing to better overall metabolic health. This is particularly beneficial for individuals with diabetes or those at risk of developing the condition. When it comes to supplementation, it's important to choose a high-quality vitamin K2 MK7 supplement. While certain foods like natto and fermented products provide some vitamin K2, 
they may not be consumed in sufficient quantities to meet daily requirements. Due to the limited availability of vitamin K2 in the Western diet, supplementation can be a convenient and effective way to ensure optimal levels of this essential nutrient. However, it's crucial to consult with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplements, especially if you're taking blood thinners or have specific medical conditions that may interact with vitamin K2. Your doctor can provide personalized guidance based on your individual health needs. In conclusion, vitamin K2 plays a vital role in maintaining bone health, cardiovascular health, and metabolic function. It works synergistically with other nutrients like vitamin D and magnesium to support overall well-being. By incorporating vitamin K2, rich foods, and considering supplementation when necessary, you can enhance your body's levels of this essential nutrient and reap the numerous benefits it offers.